Hi, this is John Kenalopoulos for our, our office here in Athens, Greece. Here's a young lady. Uh, we are uh, currently 35 years old. Uh, unusual for a young lady, but the key thing here is that she was treated for uh, very advanced keratoconus in both eyes in 2017, so three years ago, with the Athens Protocol. And we're going to travel through her findings today. First, uh, we're going to go and look at uh, some epithelial maps. So let's take a look at this. This is just her... Uh, comparing a uh, year after the procedure. We can see how thin the cornea is here is on, the, on the anterior segment of CT. We can see that miraculously, the cornea looks thicker today. So two years later, the cornea has thickened, extremely thin cornea, 318. So this would have been in the past, uh, definitely a cornea transplant candidate. And we can see that the thickness is mainly a change in the epithelium. The epithelium has normalized through the years. And in this eye, she wears a soft contact lens. Uh, and this is why uh, the cornea has changed. And this for us, the fact that the uh, epithelium is, is quite thick over the thinnest part of the cornea, and we've talked about this before, uh, the fact that the keratoconus is inactive. So a good sign here. Let's go look at the other eye. The other eye wears a sclera lens. And again, we're comparing 2018, a year after her procedure, and today. And we again have a thickening here of over 10 microns because of the change of the cornea epithelium. And again, the epithelium over the thinnest part of the cornea is not extremely thinner. Uh, let's go. We have some very nice images of the scleral lenses. Um, this is the uh, pre-op um, pentacams compared to post-op. We had very, very little ability to treat with laser here. So although we performed the Athens protocol, we treated no um, refractive uh, error or significant uh, uh, topography uh, correction because the cornea was very thin to begin with uh, and um, thus the uh, improvement is small. We're about uh, two or three doctors uh, better, uh, although the IHD has almost halved, went from 192 to 131 uh, in the left eye. Let's look at the other eye. So basically we did a PTK and then CXL and then the right eye, again very thin at the time, uh, IHD from 120 to 108. Um, and let's look at the um, uh, scleral lenses. I think it's a good example of how scleral lens fitting uh, should be. We're seeing here the scleral lens, uh, the fluid in between and the cornea, um, and maybe we're seeing cross-linking lines somewhere down here. And let's look at the edges of the lens. So just reviewing, um, so the lens sits very well here at the um, uh, periphery of the uh, scleral and conjunctiva and, and again the we can see the quality of the lens edge at this particular meridian and let's look at some other images we have the other side of the lens uh, nasally on the left eye also sits very well in the conjunctiva uh, it still retains very good quality and how scleral lenses have really changed the game for keratoconus um, let's look at uh, I think we have another central image of the lens right here now, this is the area of the uh, biggest curvature. And the key thing here is that with scleral lenses, since we're fitting in a regular cornea, we want to make sure there's no touch here because this would definitely make the scleral lens behave like a RGP. So uh, this is what I had to share with you today. A patient that uh, even with today's standards in 2020, we would have considered uh, a cornea transplant since we started with an extremely thin cornea under 400 microns to begin with. At the area of the cone, she was under 350 microns. We did explain to the patient that this was a uh, compassionate use of the Athens protocol and cross-linking. And three years later now, she's 35. She's enjoying 20-25 uh, plus vision uh, with um, a soft contact lens on the right eye, a scleral lens on the left eye. She started with uh, 11 diopters of myopia, 4 diopters of astigmatism on the right, with best corrected 2040, 14 diopters of myopia, 6 diopters of astigmatism on the left, with 2100 best corrected. And now with her uh, soft uh, toric uh, contact lens on the right, she's 2025. And with the scleral lens on the left, she's almost 2020. Um, this is John Kalopoulos. Uh, just uh, a day after the World Keratoconus Awareness Day, we need to scan our young patients with uh, uh, changing astigmatism, and we need to make that diagnosis of keratoconus early enough so we can treat and avoid a cornea transplant, even in this very extreme case. Thanks so much for your attention.